Right then guys, here we go, the Rover 100. Just thought I'd jump on and do a video. Charlie's going around it and taking a few photographs for you. Not too sure where it came from actually. Landed with us a couple of days ago and a um, little bit of a project so far from what we've worked out. Um, I'll just pop the bonnet and show you what's put under there. Has she already popped? Yeah, sure. She's up. Um, have you given it a go with a bit of easy start and a battery yeah, back? Cough it coughed, Charlie said. Look, so she might just want a little bit of fettling with. Go around with under there. There we go. But um, airbox is already taken apart, so um, yeah, had a little bit of easy start in it. Charlie just said it coughed, so uh, I don't think it'd take many minutes to uh, to mess about and get her going in all fairness. Whip plugs out, a bit of fresh fuel, and uh, just a general sort of clean up everywhere. But um, obviously it's for you to decide, you better come down and have a look, see what you think. She's tidy enough on them inner wings and such like. Yeah. Nice and straight on the uh, on the front grille. Chrome work's gonna want redoing in the near future. Body work overall. There's a few dings and dents here and there. As you can see, look, so um, yeah, whether you get it mechanically sound, and use it and have fun with it or you go down the route of uh, a bit of paint and uh, it depends how far you want to go with it of course doesn't it there you go a couple of odds and sods in the boot yeah seats and things will color up nicely wood just wants varnishing steering wheel will clean up overall interior wise yeah could uh well, no, yeah not a lot left to do i don't think headlining and such like again just a bit of a general clean what we got here rover 100 p4 which is a 62 look 6729 you are the car was manufactured in 62 and was initially exported to south africa before being imported to the uk in 79 by a man from huddersfield it was then sold to someone in Dewsbury and purchased by a medical student who used it daily travelling between Huddersfield and Leeds. He is now a doctor in Featherstone. Uh, the next recorded owner was in Ripon and he acquired the car in 88 and bought it from his friend in Goole in February 94. Um, it required attention to the brake steering and inner rear wing to pass the MOT in July. My younger son made an inner rear wing to strengthen the bodywork and provide support for the boot hinge. Uh, well, there you go. Look, you can just pause it and have a read. There's a few bits and pieces there. Look, don't know when that was written, but uh, anyway, there you go. Don't know if that's with it. I'll uh, I'll check it out. But um, any queries, just ask the girls. Might go with it, or it might be. Uh, sometimes people put thing put things in uh, which should be going in the memorabilia. But uh, anyway, there you go. That's the uh, that's the rover, guys. Next step, of course, is to come down, have a look and see what you think.